Good morning. I'm gonna be showing you my morning makeup routine with all G Beauty makeup. I'm gonna show you how dual action our mineral-based makeup is to give you a beautiful glow, the right amount of coverage, and no extra oil or shine. I'm gonna share with you my favorite tricks as to how to get the most flawless, effortless complexion in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. So I like to start with the Prime Skin. This is our best-selling product. It's so multifaceted. It has SPF 20, it has tons of hyaluronic acid, it's super moisturizing and it gives the skin a beautiful glow. I always tell my clients that this is the number one product for when you're on the go. You can apply it before the gym, when you're traveling, in the car on the way to work, or like I am before the rest of my makeup. So I apply the Prime Skin with our Kabuki brush, which is my favorite brush because it's super wide and it will get my whole skin really quickly. I apply two pumps right onto the brush and I blend and pat it into my skin. I am using the shade in medium, which is gonna give me a really beautiful glow and that light amount of first layer of coverage for me. I like to apply the Prime Skin before the rest of my makeup. Because I'm more oily, I generally pat it into my pores so that it absorbs really well. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite eraser, which is our Medium Peach Concealer Stick. This is one of my favorite products, and I use the color Medium Peach, which is gonna brighten and counteract any dark or red undertones. So, I generally will prep my eyes by going right underneath and out to my hairline across my cheekbone, above my eyebrow, down the center of my nose, come into the center of my chin, and across my eyelids. Now I tell clients that even if you don't wear eyeshadow, we get a lot of discoloration on the eyelid. So you do wanna brighten it up with some concealer, and you'll see that it instantly awakens and opens up your eyes. I like to let this sit. I have a theory that if you let the concealer sit a little bit on the skin, it'll have longer, better lasting power. So while this sets, I go in with my brow pencil. This is the G Beauty Precision Brow Pencil in Brunette. The reason I love it is because it looks like hair. I start right at the bottom of the brow and work across as if it looks like hair strokes. Now the good thing about this brush is it has a spoolie on this opposite end, which is like a little brush for the brow, and that's gonna be there as a buffer if we need to blend anything better. I always like to generally take my brows a little bit longer to give me more fullness. And then I take the spoolie and I brush up and out, and that will blend, and like I said, if anything is too heavy, this is gonna blend it out. So I'll take the brow pencil on the opposite brow, and come up and across, and now I'll brush out. The brows are really a rejuvenating element, so it is important to spend just a moment on them to make sure that the look looks really smooth and professional, and I always find that the brows, if anything, give you that little extra something if you're going to work out or you're getting on an early flight. Now to set my brows, I'm gonna use the G Beauty High Brow, which is our tinted brow gel, and this is gonna give me a little extra color on my brow hairs while also keeping them intact. And what's so great is that it's super small so it's not going to be too much product on the brow hairs. Now that I've let the concealer sit, I'm going to blend it in. And as you can see now with the primer and the concealer, my skin is starting to look a lot more fresh, brighter, with a very soft glow. Now, with my eyes, I like to keep it really fresh and light for during the day. I don't like to wear too much eye makeup because later on when I go out, I'll build on top of it, so I just like to keep it very fresh. This is our face highlighting powder in O2, which I double as an eyeshadow. So I take a little bit on a blender brush and just pat it into my eyelid. What's nice about this highlighter is it gives you a lot with just a little bit of product, just across the eyelid, you can rock back and forth, you can pat it in. This color is so neutral that it works for every skin tone and it's never gonna look too done. My next trick that I like to do on the eyes is use bronzer as my crease color. So I'm all about dual action. I totally get we're always in a rush. We don't have that much time to apply multiple steps of makeup. So I'm all about two in one. This is the Golden Glow Bronzer. It's our best seller. It's super light and it works again on all skin tones. 
I take a little bit with a blender brush and I rock back and forth in my crease with the brush. So if you don't want to wear eyeliner, this is the perfect amount of makeup for during the day on the eyes. You've got a bit of shadow, you've got a bit of crease, you've got your highlight and your brows are complete. I do like to wear a little bit of eyeliner because I have green eyes, I like to highlight the color. So I love using a green eyeliner. This color is called Ivy, it's almost like a deep forest green and it gives me just a bit of color without being too heavy. This is our gel eyeliner which just glides really easily onto the skin. You don't have to pull the eye too much to apply it and if you make a mistake because our makeup is mineral you can just smudge it in with your finger. So I just apply the eyeliner almost touching my eyelashes and eventually it will come across as a perfect line. You don't have to do a wing if it's too challenging. And if you do a wing and make a little error, you can just blend it in and make it into more of a crease color. I want makeup to be approachable and to be fun and to feel like you're in control. So taking the eyeliner just on the outside of my eye, blending it in a little with my finger, and that way I have a little bit of density near the lash line but not so much focused on eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna come in with mascara to give me long, full lashes. I am mascara obsessed. This is our XLXL mascara, which is one of my favorites for giving volume, density, and length. And I am all about as many layers as possible. So I just come across with my mascara until I'm happy with the result. Now what's nice about our mascara, because it is so light, you can add as much as you need, so when I go out tonight, I can add more mascara without feeling heavy or like it's weighing me down. So as you can see, the primer does give me a little bit of extra shine, so I like to come in with our Invisible Powder, which is one of my best kept secrets. So it looks perfectly white, but it's actually completely translucent and invisible. What it's gonna do is absorb the excess oil and also gently mattify my skin without being more makeup. So I take our powder brush and I push it right into the powder and as you can see, it's very minimal and very clear what comes off on my brush and I pat it into my oily areas of concern. My nose, my forehead, and into my chin. Now I have just given a little bit more matte to my skin and then I can come in with bronzer without being too glowy or too dewy which isn't a problem for everyone. Next, I'm gonna come in with my bronzer, which we used earlier as that crease color to give more definition, with our Magic Fan Brush. This is our best-selling face brush because it's gonna give you a really soft contour, it's gonna be so fast to apply, and it actually feels so good on the skin. I take my Golden Glow Bronzer with my fan brush, and I come in the shape of a three across my skin. So along my forehead, into my cheekbone, down across my jaw, and then into my neck. And we'll do that again on the other side. So across my forehead, up into my cheekbone, along my jaw, and into my neck. Now, I love bronzer, so I'm gonna add a little bit more, but it's whatever you feel comfortable with. So if you only like a kiss of color, you only need to apply it once, and if you're like me and aim for that J-Lo glow, then you can add as much as you wish. I'm gonna take our delicate blush stick, which is so easy to apply. I take the blush stick and I just dot it along my cheekbone and I like to come quite high as you can see into my hairline. That will create a really lifted sculpted cheek. And you can blend it in with your fingers. Now this color looks super bright as you can see it looks super pink, but it's actually really soft. And you're just gonna really gently blend that into the skin. What I like about this stick is that it's not too liquidy, so you do have some control. And because it's a cream, it actually gives you just a little touch extra moisture on the cheekbones. Last but not least are my lips. Lip liner is also gonna be there to help leave your lipstick on all day, and it's also gonna give you an added extra bit of color. So I'm gonna use our Naked Lip Liner, which is one of my favorites. 
And what's nice is this color is actually pretty neutral, so you can use it with every lipstick. But obviously if you're wearing a red, you can use a red lip liner. And I'm gonna wear my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick. It's called A G Thing. It's our best-selling nude. It's nice and creamy all over my lips. Now, my look is absolutely complete, but for a little extra something, I'm going to take the highlighter that I used earlier as my eyeshadow and just lightly dust it up my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, across my upper lip, and a little on the chin. That's just gonna give me a little something extra. It's not necessary for every single morning, but on the days that I'm in the studio, I like to make sure my makeup is extra perfect. And that is my morning makeup routine.